Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Purple Fire, back in our video. And today, what we'll be doing is... So, it's very awkward. But, um, you know, I don't usually do videos like this, but I got the idea from Ghost Clan underscore Ghost Clan. I'm in their clan, so I decided just to make videos like this. So, if you like it, just tell me, you know keep doing it if you don't if you hate it just tell me just i don't want you to watch a video you don't like and yeah guys so um subscribe to ghost clan underscore ghost clan and today we're talking about the new orleans pelicans um oh god let me just tell you about the pelicans um they have all the talent in the world yeah, that's what I thought. Um, they got all the talent in the world. They got a good head coach. I don't know if Stan Van Gandhi is the right coach for the Pelicans, but you know, it's it's only fifteen games to the season. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. They started off four and two and now they're five and ten, so that's that's fun. Uh they're playing the Spurs tonight, nine, so I'm gonna watch that game. So basically the Pelicans have like they started off strong. I mean they were four and two. You know, everyone thought there would be like a fifty one team, but they could still win like six fifty games, whatever. Because it's literally fifteen games into the season. Nobody knows. Um like the Thunder last year, they started off like what were they? Weren't they like seven and fifteen? I don't know. The Thunder, like, last season started off, like, 7-15 or something like that. And they just started winning games and become became a good team. So, um, we're talking about the Pelicans. Uh, so, they started off 4-2. and two, And then they start that game versus the Pacers. Um, they shouldn't have lost. They were up by, like, 8 with, like, 30 seconds left. Um pretty it's pretty disappointing um pacers came in they stole the ball like three plays in a row and hit a bunch of threes then it went to overtime um it's pretty scary overtime but uh you know not what you would expect from a good team i'm sorry about that my monitor just turned off um but they kind of blew it because malcolm brogdon it's very clutch. Miles uh, Bridges. I almost said Miles Garrett because, you know, I'm a Browns fan. Um, anyways. Okay, then they're four and three. So they could win another game, right? So they go four and four, four and five, four and six, four and seven. I think they go five and no four I don't know, but I know they win the game versus the the Kings. The Kings are they're not good. They've never been. They've had a few good seasons, but they're. Just think about this. They've made the playoffs in like 20 something years, so. I mean, they have. That game versus um the Pelicans, the Kings had. They lost, but. De'Aaron Fox had like 40 points and 15 assists. Like, he deserves to be on a contender because he's a good player. He sh he should be an all star, you know. Um. All right, then the Pelicans are five and something, right? They start losing games, so they've won one of their last eight games. Um. They lost to the Timberwolves yesterday. Um. It's very depressing. Um. Minnesota Timberwolves aren't even that good of a team. They didn't have Carl Anthony Towns or D'Angelo Russell. Just had a bunch of role player G League players on their squad, and they had more heart than the Pelicans. You know, the Pelicans weren't like showing any heart in the game. Um, a player I want to see succeed in this league is Lonzo Ball. You see, okay. Yeah, but I don't know if he could do that if, like, 
I don't know. I mean, they, I, I feel like they're putting him in a bad position where he's a playmaker. You know, he's he's supposed to get those assists. He's supposed to set up the teammates. Get like eight assists, ten assists a game. And they have him as a shooting guard, like just spot up shooting. Like he's, he, last season he was getting like seven assists a game. He's only averaging like four this season. Um, I just don't think that they're playing the team right. Um, let's talk about Ingram now. Brandon Ingram, I love, um, Slenderman's his nickname because he's so skinny. Um, I like him. He's a, he's an all-star. Of course, I love Brandon Ingram. He's just a player that has succeeded and no one expected him to be this good a few years ago. So, um, just... Ingram, he could put up like 30 a night, but his team isn't doing their job. Zion. Now, Zion started off pretty slow, um, but the last few games have been pretty good for him. Like about 30 points a game for the last few games. Um, he's, getting, he's, uh, he's getting up there. The team's just adjusting to the new playing style. Um, Eric Bledsoe had a good game last, last game. He had like 30, I think. But he's not having that good of a season. Um, yeah, so Steven Adams. Oh, Aquaman. I love Steven Adams. He's. I love those defensive players that don't care about their stats. They just care about winning and setting their teammates up and just being in a good winning environment. Um, and, yeah, just the bench. I expected Jackson Hayes to be much better this season, but... He's only averaging like three a game. He's a role player. Um, I want him to like make his way to the Spartan starting spot, but you know it's just fifteen games into the season. Jackson Hayes can become something good this season. Um, yeah, Josh Hart getting rebounds, doing his thing. Now a player that has stepped up that I didn't expect to see is one of the best players this season. Oh, Nikhil Alexander Walker, bro. This guy is insane. Versus the Clippers. Yeah, we lost because we didn't have some of those players, but it was a fun game. It was, in general, a fun game to watch. Because we had all those young players out there doing their job. They had Hayes getting the boards and getting all those dunks. And Nikhil... Nikhil had 34 points. He stepped up. He's averaging like 13 a game. And he's not even getting that many minutes. He can get way more minutes and do way more out there. So, uh, we're eight minutes into the video. Something else. I think the Pelicans can get better if they use Zion as not just a dunker. They have to take advantage of him like... Last season, the first game back, they might have lost because they subbed him out in, like, the last three minutes. But Zion, he's getting minutes. He needs to not just be a dunker. He can do... He's a solid playmaker. He just never had the opportunity to. And Zion, he's not just a dunker. Like, he's a playmaker. He could shoot threes if you, like... Let him get in the position to because last season, his first game in the NBA, he went four for four and brought them back to the lead. But just they need to keep using Ingram. I like how they're using him. He's just a player that, you know, makes them get in close to games, um, lets them succeed. Um, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Zion have not made the playoffs yet in their career. Um, a player they could use more is Steven Adams. Um, I feel, actually, no, I feel like they're using him. I just don't understand. I just, I don't think that they're using Bledsoe and Lonzo correctly. Oh, yeah, Bledsoe. Um, Bledsoe, he's kind of weird this season. He's a good playmaker. He's good at rebounds, good at defense, but, like, this season, he hasn't been a star. He's been a role player. And that's not something you usually see from him. He's been averaging 
with the Suns. He averaged like 20 points with the Bucks. He's been their third option. He's been crazy. They call him Ferrari. That's his nickname, Ferrari. And I just feel like him and Lonzo aren't good on the same team. I would hate if the Pelicans got rid of Lonzo Ball. This I'm the re I'm kind of a reason why I'm a fan of the Pelicans because of him. But like if Zion and all of them are just you know, Stan Van Gundy needs to find a new way to use their players. They need first they need Lonzo to be a playmaker, not just a spot up shooter. That's not the player he is. And, guys, that's just all. I think they could beat the Spurs as long as they make some adjustments. Spurs are 500 right now. They're making, making this video. It's 540 right now, and they're playing at 9 o'clock. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, shout out to underscore Ghost Clan. They're on the screen. Link in the description. Sub to R12 Tempo. And, yeah, guys. Peace out.